starting with tonight's monster card. Let's get to it. First game, Pittsburgh Penguins at the New York Rangers. Game time, 7 o'clock Eastern time. And we get to see if the Rangers can beat the Penguins for the third time in less than two weeks. And uh, if the Rangers win, they're going to be a comfortable six points ahead of Pittsburgh. So this is a huge game for both teams as a jockey for position number two and three and the Metro Conference. Let's take a look at tonight's numbers. Pittsburgh and the Rangers minus $1.10 each way. Uh, given that proper respect for the Rangers that they deserve, I guess, after you know getting those two wins, the total is five and a half over, minus a dollar twenty-five. Starting goaltenders looks looks like it's going to be Tristan Jari against Shesterkin. Uh, those are the listed goaltenders, and again, make sure you get the goaltenders that you want uh, or that hasn't changed before you go ahead and make your pick. And as I previously stated, this is the third meeting between these two teams in less than two weeks, and. Those two wins have helped the Rangers take over that second spot in the Metro. And I've always been a fan of backing teams that have a little bit of a chip on their shoulder, especially teams that are good teams. And the Pittsburgh Penguins certainly are into that in that category. They're in a little rut right now, uh, but if they get a win against the Rangers, that certainly will wipe some of that bad taste uh, out of their mouth. And for Pittsburgh, it's real simple. It's coming out. It's starting fast. It's getting on top of New York and making New York chase them. Uh, something the Penguins haven't been doing of late. Uh, of course, you know, you play the Rangers and you play Colorado. I mean, that that is bound to happen. But that is, for me, what Pittsburgh definitely has to do tonight. They have to get out to an early lead. Uh, they do come in limping, as I mentioned. They lost two straight against Colorado, but... Uh, again, going into New York and getting that W, that will put them in that second spot in the Metropolitan Division. Uh, it's something that, you know, certainly if they get this win, they could put those three games behind us. I think you will see the Penguins pay much more attention to detail. There's been some times where, you know, it's been five, ten minutes where they just, you know, kind of went through the motions, didn't play emotional hockey, didn't finish their checks. Uh, I think you're going to see a little bit different uh, of an emotional team tonight. And that's one thing about Pittsburgh you have to say is, okay, once you get into that postseason, which we know is a completely different brand of hockey, that is a physical brand of hockey that teams need to up their game, are they able to do that? We know the Rangers certainly are because they went out and got Ryan Reeves for this time of year, and they are more than willing to play that physical brand of hockey that you need to go far into the postseason. I think this is a real opportunity for Pittsburgh to show what they're made of uh, against the Rangers. And, of course, Igor uh, Shesterkin, who we talked about as a guy that probably was in the talk of winning the Vezina a short time ago. He's kind of fallen off a little bit as of late. He's 4-4-1, four, four and one, a 3.11 goals against, save percentage under 89%, and that's been since March 10th. So that's not numbers uh, that I want to back right now, especially against a team that has something to prove. If I'm Mike Sullivan tonight, I'm saying we are going to take the physicality to the New York Rangers and show them who we are, because most likely this will be their first round matchup in the postseason. So tonight's official selection on this game, we're going to go ahead and take the Pittsburgh Penguins minus $1.10. It's a pretty fair number uh, for a Penguins team that needs to show what they're made of. If they don't win tonight, and I really question their ability to beat the Rangers in a seven-game series.